Hello and welcome to this Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to push an existing Android Studio project to a version control system like GitHub. My name is Jiho and I'm a mobile developer for both the Android and iOS native platforms and I am based in Dollar Cameroon. In this video, I'll, I'll be assuming you have basic knowledge of GitHub, what it is, how it works, and I'll also assume you have a GitHub account, not forgetting a basic knowledge about version control systems. Write down in the comment section below if you need more videos about GitHub or version control in general and will likely make a playlist. If you also have any questions or worries or any difficulties you found when viewing the video, write them in the comment section and I'll make sure I can help you with that. So without wasting any more time, let's move right into the video. I've already created a new project and this is just a basic project. What the project does is it's just a web view that displays the URL to my LinkedIn profile, which is this. So we have the project and now we want to upload the project to GitHub, upload or push the project to GitHub. First thing we do is we make sure we have the Git version control system installed in our computer. If not, let's just go to Google and we got good git then we presented with this it's a free tool a free open source tool so we don't need no payment if you're on mac os you press download for mac os if not windows you press this or linux so press download for mac os we can choose to follow the home installing the git software with homebrew or you can use the gui clients for windows and mac os so after inst after downloading the gui client or uh, install it through homebrew we we'll go back to our Android Studio. We we'll go to Preferences for macOS users or its settings for Windows users. We we'll go to Version Control and under Version Control, we we'll go to Git. Part to GitHub executable is the part that points to the Git executable file. It's a part to the Git executable file installed in your machine. It's auto detected by Android Studio ID. If not, you we'll go to Files and you locate it. Mine is auto detected. You press Test. And if you receive this message, then it has auto detected the Git executable file in your computer with the version. Mine is 2.24.3. After this, we we'll go to GitHub. And under GitHub, we'll be linking our GitHub account to our Android Studio ID. For simplicity, we we'll press the add button and we we'll log in with a token. It's simpler. So when we press login with token, we'll present all this dialog. And ask us for a token. We don't have one, so let's generate it. We will be directed to sign up to our GitHub account. So let me sign up to my GitHub account. And we will present it to this page. Note is the name of the token. So let's just leave this understood token creation token. We choose the expiration date. You can make it not to expire and you always be connected to GitHub if it's your personal computer. You can do so, but I'll advise you to have uh, 30 days max. For me, I will choose 7 days since it's just for this tutorial. And we don't touch any of this. I'll press generate token. Personal access token generated. Tokens are generated and can be used to access the GitHub API. So we'll come here and copy. As you can see, you expire on the 15th of March and he sent me a mail to warn me someone has generated a token. So, our token has successfully been generated. So, what we do now is we copy this token by clicking this. Copy to clipboard, so it has been copied. I'll go to Android Studio and paste our token, then select Add Account. Then, our GitHub account. Will appear on the list you see my name profile picture then we'll make sure to press apply press apply then okay to save the changes now we go into the toolbar into vcs it will be same for windows and enable version control integration press is git of course press okay It has created a git repository in our project. As you can see, the files that will be added into the git initial commit are called out. Then we'll go to git, github, share project on github. 
Here you can give your repository a name. I will say keep the name by default. Remote origin and give a description. This is a simple. Oh, sorry. Android with you. App that displays my LinkedIn profile page. I will press share. But before that, you can choose your profile to be private or not. Then we'll click share. Creating GitHub repository, which is username and all that. Here it shows you all the files that will be added to Git. And you can choose a message. This is an initial commit for a YouTube tutorial uh, spelling can do better than that stop with them and we'll press add and you will see successfully shared project on github and if you click this link it will direct you to your github repository with your code so that is it for the video thank you for following the video to the end in this video i hope you're able to share your existing project to github you can you can follow me on my social media handles on description below if you have any questions i'll gladly answer them see you for another video